Hello, I'm Wild for Games, and I was curious to know what did it actually mean in the movie Tombstone in 1993? What Doc Holliday meant when I'm your Huckleberry. Let's take a look. In the classic movie Tombstone, Doc Holliday, played by Val Kilmer, says one of the most badass lines ever said in cinema. I didn't think you had it in you. I'm your huckleberry. Well, I was very curious to know what does that term mean and where does it come from? Well, there's actually kind of a few sources that kind of weave in together to get the final answer. Let's start with where it first came from in my research, which is actually from King Arthur lore. Basically, knights that were saving damsels in distresses were rewarded with a medal. That medal basically being huckleberry branches that would be put on their lance basically signifying that they were their champion or that they were or that they were their hero. Now the history and the lore of I'm your Huckleberry made it into 18th century Southern gentleman slang terms. Doc Holliday grew up in Kentucky, Georgia, and around this time there was a lot of slang terms, one of them being I'm your Huckleberry. So that's where the phrase comes from and why they use it in the movie and why Doc Holliday would use it because he's the man for the job and nobody can beat him. But there's a little bit of a twist to this answer because that's probably not what he was supposed to say. Well, it could have been said at one point in the movie, but there's actually a debate about if he was supposed to say, I'm your Huckleberry or I'm your Huckleburr. Now, a Huckleburr in the early 1800s was actually what we call today a pallbearer, a person who carries a coffin or a casket for burial. Now, where does the term come from is the people that were actually pallbearers would actually have huckleberry branches on their lapels to show respect for the dead. You could say in the very beginning of the movie, the first time that Doc Holliday says, I'm your huckleberry, he actually does mean, I'm your huckleberry. I'm the man for your job. Name the time and the place. I'm here. I can't be beat against Johnny Ringo. But in the second time when Doc Holliday meets up with him and they have their battle, he could actually mean, I'm your huckle burr. I'm the man that's going to put you in the grave. I'm going to cause your death. So they could use that as an actual answer. But the answer lies in the pudding. When you look at the actual script, you could see that for Val Kilmer's line, he's supposed to say, I'm your huckleberry at both parts. So the discussion's kind of laid to waste. However, you could see how it could be used. So that's a little extra tidbit on if it's supposed to be, I'm your Huckleberry or I'm your Huckleburr, but at least you got two answers. And I hope that you guys found that kind of interesting because I was actually curious to know. And now time for a bonus fact. In the actual fight dueling scene between Doc Holliday and Johnny Ringo, when Johnny Ringo goes down, Doc Holliday also says another line. He says, You're no Daisy. You're no Daisy at all. You're no Daisy. What does he mean by that? Well, in the early terms of the 1800s, daisies were actually prized for being a tough and strong flower because when they were plucked or when they were snipped to be put in a vase, they would last the longest out of all the other flowers, basically meaning they were best in class. So when Doc Holliday calls him, he's no daisy. He's basically saying, you're not best in class. I'm best in class. In some last minute research, I stumbled upon a cool website that basically described what flowers meant in the Victorian era. In the late 1800s, daisies represented purity and innocence. Also, if you fancied someone that you were interested in and you reciprocated with a bouquet of daisies, it meant that you were a gentleman through and through and that you were wonderful. So you can see how this personifies Doc Holliday and how he perceived himself. So I hope you guys found this video kind of interesting. It was actually really fun to research and I'm glad I found out what it meant and it uh, kind of made me more curious for other things. If you guys have any questions or comments, let me know below. If there's something you'd like me to research, go ahead and uh, write a comment below and I'll see what I do. If you like the video, go ahead and like it so you share it with your friends. Uh, you can also look at some other videos over there that might help you out from my other playlist that I have out there. Take care and I'll see you guys later. Bye.